going to go in here. I'm going to create a new, we're going to create a new document here, a new presentation. Here is our document. You can see it's blank. We've got no slides here. Let's build a pre-show look real quickly here. I'm going to go into the edit mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just give this a bit of a background. Maybe, maybe there's sort of like our brain trust background here. This is our brain pattern. We're going to throw this in and then uh, maybe we'll, maybe we need to add our brain trust logo. So I'm going to bring that in. We'll shrink that down, kind of put that up here. Maybe it needs a little bit of like a, like a drop shadow. Give that like a nice little blur. Maybe we're getting ready here. So maybe I'll take our text and I'm going to just move it back to the front and I'm going to shrink it down and I'll say something like, live stream begins in, and I'll put a little colon there, right align it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste that text and I'm gonna move it over here next to it. You can see our alignment guides kind of snap. I'm gonna left align this, and instead of putting text here, I'm gonna go over here on the right and I'm gonna choose linked text. This is a new feature in Pro 7 that allows me to link, link the text in this box to the text somewhere else. So I'm gonna to go to timers, pre-show countdown, and now you can see the text in this box is linked to our pre-show countdown. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that it uh, doesn't show any hours and doesn't show any milliseconds. Uh, so I can, I can tune that in. Now it's just minutes and seconds. And I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Maybe make this like 100 so that looks kind of cool. Maybe move this over with my arrow keys a couple times. So now I've got sort of a, a pre-show countdown. So if I were to fire this slide, you'd see over here in our program that the live stream begins in and the timer's not there. That's because the timer's not actively running. So if I go to my timers palette and I say pre-show countdown, and I'm gonna say, let's say we're gonna start at noon. I'll set it to 12 p.m. I'll get it going. I'll hit start and now you can see in our slide, the live stream begins in 41 minutes. Everybody get ready, log on, whatever. This is a great way to do a pre-show look. So very simply, we stacked up a few things, added a live timer to this, and now we're ready to go. Thanks so much for joining us today, taking a look at how you could use Pro 7 in a live streaming environment. Hopefully this inspires you to build some of your own content and take a look at the tools you've been using in a live world. Think about how you could pivot them and use them in a virtual world. Definitely hit us up in the comments below if you've got questions or thoughts and uh, we'll see you again soon.